Mr. Obi attended Christ the King College, Onicha, and graduated from the University of Nigeria, Nsuka, with a bachelor's degree in philosophy. He has attended several executive programs at top business schools in Nigeria and abroad, including Harvard Business School and Kellogg Graduate School of Management, USA. He is an alumnus of Lagos Business School, having attended the chief executive program, CEP 11, in 2002. Mr. Peter Obi is a thoroughbred professional and fellow of the Chartered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. He has excelled both in private enterprise and public service and had at various times been the chairman Fidelity Bank PLC, chairman Guardian Express Mortgage Bank Limited, chairman Paymaster PLC, to mention, to mention just a few. As governor, he was elected vice chairman of the Nigeria Governors Forum and chairman Southeast Governors Forum, amongst numerous other federal government appointments. Recently honored as the outstanding Igbo man of the decade by the champion newspaper, <laughs> Mr. Obi is credited with introducing fundamental changes in Nigerian politics and is remembered for the following achievements while in office. Exemplary commitment to reforms and development, building relationships between Anambra State and other countries such as USA, Britain, Russia, European Union, Belgium, Israel, Venezuela, and others. Attracted big Fortune 500 companies like SAB Miller, Distel, and GlaxoSmithKline, Nimeth Pharmaceuticals, etc., to Anambra State. <laughs> Under him, Anambra State was rated the least indebted state in Nigeria by the Debt Management Office. Anambra was adjudged by the Federal Ministry of Works, the state with the best network of roads in the country, having asphalted over 800 kilometers of roads. He reopened long-closed schools and returned missionary schools to the original owners with a grant of 6 billion naira for their rehabilitation distributing over 30,000 computers, internet access, Microsoft academies to over 500 schools. Anambra State students, for the first time, achieved first place nationwide in the 2013 WAEC and NECO Common Entrance Examinations. He provided 700 buses to secondary schools in the state, and provided boreholes to over 300 schools. He also built classroom blocks in all the 177 communities in the state. He ensured the payment of over 35 billion naira in outstanding pensions and gratuities in the state since 1999. Before he became governor, no single health institution was accredited in the state. But under his administration, 10 schools of nursing, midwifery, and medical technology, as well as two hospitals, were accredited. <laughs> Mr. Peter Obi stands for justice and fairness and was the first Nigerian governor to reclaim his governorship mandate after three years in the court, giving confidence to others to pursue their stolen mandates. He is also the first governor in Anambra State to serve for two terms since democratic rule in 1979. Perhaps Mr. Peter Obi's greatest legacy in office was his financial prudence. He funded development projects without borrowing money from financial institutions, nor raising bonds. And he handed over to his successor, Mr. Willie Obiano, also an alumnus of LBS, 
the sum of 75 billion naira in the form of cash local foreign investments. In a recent testimony, the Anglican Bishop of the Diocese of Amici, Right Reverend E. O. Ikako, spoke glowingly of Mr. Peter Obi while advising his successor, Mr. Willie Obiano, to tow his checkered steps. Mr. Obi is a native of Amatutu village, Agulu, Anaucha, LGA of Anambra State, and he's married to Margaret with two children. For contributing in an outstanding way to the development of Anambra State and Nigeria, for contributing in building an oasis of sanity and expanding the ideas of what is possible and what can be done in the society, setting new standards in the process, and for reflecting the ideals of the school both in private and public service, Mr. Peter Gregory Obi is hereby being honored with the Lagos Business School Distinguished Alumni Award.